Bitcoin. And the winner is... Chris Diorio, Chairman and CEO of Impinch. Uh, Chris? Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Let's take a, take a photo. I'd like to say thank you to everybody. Thank you, Mark. And I'll just make a few brief words here. You know, there's a saying that um, any suitably advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And I remember being on a stage like this about six years ago in 2005, shortly after we developed the Gen 2 spec. And at that time, we wanted to do a demo of what Gen 2 could do. And what we came up with at that time was we built a Lucite box. It's about this wide, about chest height. And inside the, and the box, had a, it was a, you could see through it, and there was a screen on top. And inside the box, there were 40 Gen 2 tags. Gen 2 was just brand new at that time. 40 tags on these foam blocks. And at the bottom of the, the Lucite container, we, uh, we attached a big blower, one of those um, carpet dryers. And when you turn on the blower, all the blocks would kind of fly around in the air. There were two readers, one on each side. And that system could read those 40 tags in about two or three seconds. And there was a screen behind that would show these tags as they were being read, and everybody clapped. It was, it was really fantastic. This Gen 2 stuff actually worked. Six years later now, you can go down on the, on the show floor here, and you can see a little conveyor belt with a, with a box of unencoded items in it. They're, uh, I think they're garment items. I think they're socks. And they start out unencoded, and uh, there's, there's 60 or more in that box. I don't, know, I don't know the exact number. And that box, as it goes between the conveyor belt, or as it goes along the conveyor belt between two, uh, between two antennas, the reader reads each of those unencoded tags encodes each one with a 96-bit EPC and locks each one in that same two seconds. You can also hear people talk about encoding tags and put, placing them on retail sales floor. You hear retailers talking about thousands of items on a sales floor, getting, in, getting inventory visibility, getting in the high 90s percent with handheld readers, with, with portal readers, and a set of other readers. So when you look back just six years, I mean, the advances that we've seen so far really are magic. And the trend is continuing. We're currently working on UHF Gen 2 version 2, and that enhancement to the Gen 2 spec, which will be fully backward compatible with the spec of today, will add a whole bunch of new features like anti-counterfeiting, loss prevention, security, some uh, untraceability features to protect consumer privacy, uh, files and file management, so different uses can have different, different files. So enhancements that are going to allow even greater things in the future. So I'm really excited about where the technology came from, where it's been. I'd like to say thank you for the award. But before I do, I'd be remiss in not mentioning all the others who contributed to this award. And I can't name them all. There were so many people. I can name a couple. Richard Ulrich from Walmart, Jeff Fisher, Stephen Smith, Kurt Sundstrom, a whole set of people who contributed to the development of the Gen 2 spec and the work in those early days. This award's for all of them. Thank you very much. Thank you.